Yeah, you're going to see video from the OHP helicopter as well as the dash camera from the trooper who was directly behind Michael Vance and who helped put a stop to this. Now, we want to warn you, the scene and the video that you're going to see is very violent. Trooper Brian Costanza reaching for his M4 begins shooting through his windshield. He's directly behind Michael Vance. From the air, troopers can see Vance's speeding truck leading the way. So that's Vance right, driving right through an Oklahoma Highway Patrol roadblock. In just minutes, hundreds of rounds will be fired by both Vance and troopers. You can see the rounds bouncing off of the car. The speeding rampage continues for several miles until Vance's truck stops. When he exited the vehicle, he was using the vehicle as cover and concealment. <laughs> Backup troopers arrive, a total of five against Vance, who's using his truck as a shield. Vance's weapon was an AK-47. He had two 30-round magazines. He emptied both 30-round magazines. From the helicopter, Vance's body drops to the ground, all out of bullets. When we recovered the weapon, it was at a lockback. Uh, there were no rounds remaining in it. From the ground, unable to see clearly, troopers continue to fire. It's pretty obvious here. Uh, this night, this was going to end. Uh, this was the night that we were going to make sure that he didn't hurt anybody else in one of these communities. And we can tell you that the five troopers are on routine administrative leave as this investigation continues. OHP says Vance could have really ended this peacefully, but he end to end this violently. We're live at the OHP headquarters, Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News.